Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning. And um, as I look into the video screen, as I'm saying this video, I'm realizing how scruffy I'm beginning to look. And it reminds me and makes me think about the fact that we are in a period of mourning, which I'm really looking forward to ending because I need to shave and cut my hair and clean myself up. But that's not the point. The point is that we're supposed to be in the experience. So there's an interesting saying in the Talmud that there are two months in the year that are sort of like opposite months. You have the month of Adar, the month that Purim falls out on. And the Talmud says about that month, Mishin Nichnas Adar Marbim Besimcha. When the month of Adar enters in, we're supposed to be gradually but continuously increasing our joy throughout that month. It's a month of celebration, of course, culminating in, in uh, Purim. So it's a month where we look for opportunities to find ways to be extra joyful. And then the Talmud says, Kishinichnas Av, Mema'atim Besimcha. When the month of Av comes in, that's the month that we're in now, the month where Tisha B'Av falls out on, we should minimize our joy. And, okay, the first one I get, you know, hey, there's a month of the year where we should try to be extra happy, but why does the Talmud tell us that in this month, this month of Av, we should minimize our joy? Isn't joy something that we want to have in life? Isn't that something that's important? Judaism says that we should, you know, it's a mitzvah to be joyful. So I think, you know, based on a discussion I had with my good friend Les Lawrence this morning, hey Les, that's a shout out for you if you're listening, which I'm sure you are, Les uh, clarified for me, and we had this great discussion this morning about the fact that this month and these days really give us a chance to re- connect to and to um, sort of refocus on our purpose and our mission as being part of the Jewish people. Being part of the Jewish people, it's not simple. It's very mission-based. You know, you can't just escape or run away from that. It's going to follow you and, and catch up with you eventually. We as the Jewish people have a mission. We have a purpose. We have a unique role to play. And a lot of that mission has to do with the uh, building of the temple and the coming of Mashiach and the return of the Jewish people to the land of Israel and a restoration of knowledge of Hashem's presence in the, the lives of all of mankind. And we have to reconnect to that mission in order to empower us to move forward in our commitment to that mission and to playing a role in being part of the Jewish people who carry that mission. So in this month of Av, in this month where we are focusing on the temple and the destruction of the temple and the hole that that leaves in our lives and the yearning that that creates in our lives, we bring down the joy a little bit. It's not about joy this time of year. It's not about being focused on simcha and celebration. It's about thinking deeply about our lives and the role that we want to play in this awesome, awesome mission called being the Jewish people. So uh, thank you for that insight, Les, and everyone should have a wonderful day and think about that, ponder that, and hopefully we can all discuss it more. Um, don't forget, by the way, this coming Shabbos is going to be a special Shabbos at Lechaim Center, a chance to spend the first Shabbos with Rabbi Gadi and Eve Levy, who are going to be here for Shabbos, this Shabbos and next Shabbos. So join us if you can. 9.15 services, 10.45 Ali's class, 11.30, a oh, special welcome, Kiddush. See you all then.